This, this is Leaf Life. Life. All things cannabis for all people. Now. now, Ricker and the Bearded Lorax. We publish a free magazine called The Leaf, and it's available in print in 14 states at your local cannabis retailer. You can also get it online at leafmagazines.com. Check us out. We love you. I'm Mike Ricker, your host of Leaf Life, with my co-host Wes Abney, the founder of this great orbit organization, and he's also known as... The Bearded Lorax. I speak for the trees. And of course, there's AJ OG. Hola, aloha OGs. <laughs> and Mary J. White. Baked with love. Welcome to the second half of this Leaf Life show called The Power of Intention. In just a moment, we'll get into some simple tools for personal growth, and we'll spin AJ's wheel to see what products Melanie McCauley, who's a licensed spiritual counselor and meditation guide, this show's Greg the Guinea Pig, is going to be trying next. But first, it's time for... Where in the world? Y ahora es hora de las noticias de cannabis. De Kaiju no Taima News. It's time for cannabis news from around the world. Mary J. White, you are a journalist. You think? A <laughs> <laughs> uh, very hot one. Yeah, right. Yeah. Not sitting next to these two. I'm like, well, whatever. Oh, come you know? on, what are you going to yes, do? You, you got what a couple of elevens. This one I goes know. to 11. Yeah, hot. Hot, Mary. Hot. You know what's hot? There's a company in Canada which is doing some really cool stuff. Village Farms International. And now international is the operative word here, kids. I thought you were going to say Tim Hortons. No, 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 no. Oh, no Timmy's. Timmy's. Yeah. None of that. No, but this, and they're up in BC, Vancouver, BC. That's British Columbia. Yeah, that's right. They have Pure Sun Farms and the original Fraser Valley Weed Company. Okay. Ah. And these are very lovely products. But why am I telling you this? Well, these products are now available for purchase, pharmaceutical purses, purchased by medical patients in Germany, Australia, oh, wow. Israel, and now the UK. Inter yeah. The yeah. International. Inter-fucking-national. Yeah, well, Canada legalized cannabis so that they could export the yeah. product. Yeah, yeah. They were expecting for the United States to legalize. Yeah. It didn't happen. Therefore, mm. the Canadian companies that are on the stock exchange there have mm -hmm. plummeted. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, they still export to countries that have legal cannabis. Yeah. So that's and happening. I just thought that was cool. That's yeah, good news. Cool. International that good kids. News. Yes. Uplifting so there you go. News. Thanks for your report, Mary. Certainly. That was very uplifting. <laughs> All right, AJ, spin that wheel. <laughs> All right. Let's see here, y'all. What do we got? What do we got? Um, this Washington dose right here. <laughs> it's going to yeah. be delivered through... Uh, Variable voltage vape pen. It's a CO2 extract. And CO2, wham oil. It's yeah. looking bomb. Hey, all right, that's the wham oil is an old medical product that I'm a part owner of that is now defunct. Ooh, unfortunately. It's CO2. Afghash, uh, Af <laughs> Afghan hash. <laughs> Afghash. <it>. There you go. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a variable voltage all in one. So you can like turn it up and take really big hits oh, or turn it mm. down if you want like gentle, yeah. kind of more terpy. Wow. So it's. Yeah, just suck on it. It's All right, doseoil.com. They've got a bunch of cool products. Yeah, they really do. Including that well, part we were talking about earlier. The their joint crutch. Okay. With oh, wildflower I, seeds I, in I it. I got nothing. I love the wildflowers. So what I was saying is oh, CO2 extraction mm -hmm. method and mm -hmm. using that solvent <laughs> is <laughs> not as dun, dun. <clears throat> not as popular as it used to be. You hardly see CO2 on the market ever at, anymore. Uh, so it's good to see that Dose is still doing it. Well, because it's an effective um, extract. Oh, it's great. Yeah. It's clean. And it's it's yeah, clean. Yeah, it's really clean. Much Got cleaner than butane. Yeah, we don't want no butane, do we? At a, on a certain level. Yeah. I mean, clean butane, you know, properly purged. Mm -hmm. Any concentrate done properly yeah. is going to be safe for us. Good. You know? Yeah. And I've dabbed some sketchy fucking <laughs> concentrates in 14 years, and <laughs> I'm still here. Yes, you are, so, baby. I'm kind of a experiment. And the brain still <laughs> <way>. works. <laughs> the so acts. when we talk okay. about simple tools for growth, the first thing that comes to my mind is the show that we mentioned in the beginning that you are the guest of that is our most downloaded show in history for the Leaf Live podcast, Meditation. Yeah. And I've been doing that a lot more 
lately to get myself oh. grounded, forcing myself to it. You know, the head is spinning. The mind is just oh. cruising along. And it's like, how do I shut this thing down? And watching a TV show <laughs> or getting on an Instagram or whatever does not do it. So you, I have to force myself. All right, stop. Pay attention to your breathing. I was yeah. doing it on the flight up here. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was feeling very great? anxious. Yeah, yeah. And I meditated mm -hmm. on the fucking flight. And you can do it anywhere. So that is one tool for growth. And and setting that intention, saying I'm going to meditate now and I'm going to force myself to, to do it, was how I got myself into that place. Mm -hmm. And it fucking works. Yeah. Can, can, oh, yeah. I have to say, yeah. I'm right there with you. And I have been meditating since um, 2010. Mm -hmm. Yay, and I'm a little awesome. nuts, so I haven't missed a day. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I do it every day. And honestly, because I'm, you know, like most of us, anxiety prone, overthinker, crazy person. <laughs> I can focus on one thing now. I can calm myself down. I can take a break. Mm. It's it's incredible. Yes. Just taking that time to go inside your... But it's how a, do you... It's a beautiful so practice. It's a beautiful yeah. practice. And yeah, the reason why I say practice, practice is because we never get perfect at it. Right. Mm -hmm. And so as we change and evolve, our meditation practice changes and evolves. And one thing that I love uh, that my mentor, Reverend Bernard Michael, Michael Bernard Beckwith told me, he said, uh, we don't meditate to become really good at meditating. Right. We meditate to become better at life. Ah. Yeah. You know, so we can be in the eye of the storm yeah. of life shit happening because it, that, that never changes right people are going to get sick you're going to lose jobs people yeah. are going to pass away mm -hmm. life is just constantly changing and so how do we get to show up in that instead of from a place of reaction right you know, to a place of of gracefully responding to life yeah. because yeah. It, all a miracle is is a shift of perception. Yeah, and so that, our sister. perception on whatever it is that's happening and whatever it is that we need to be working on, we can make the intention to be able to move through it with a little more grace and ease. Mm -hmm. yes. But that's really up to us. Yeah. The only thing and the only person we're in control of is ourselves. Mm. And so we get to sort through all of the fear based stuff that comes up in our minds. Yep. I love when uh, I've been taught before that the word fear is false evidence appearing real. Yes. Oh, I love that. None it's of it's happened powerful. yet. Yeah. So powerful anything acronym. that you're fearful of or worried about or freaking out about, it's all made up. Yep. And 99% of the time it never happens. That's true. Unless you're sending out, sending out a big signal that yeah. you want something nice and fucked up to happen in your life. Yeah. Right. Which yeah. is what happens. It's that intention. It's, it's, like, it's like, what are you, what are you grounding yourself in? What kind of energy? Sure. What kind and of thought process? that fear will manifest that negative thing mm -hmm. to come into your life. And totally. you know, the, the world, or at least I can speak for the United States, mm -hmm. is, stu is mired in fear. Oh, God, right yes. Now. Yeah. Uh, yes. The messaging is there to keep us there so that we're, yeah. so that we're shocked and stunned. And, and controllable. Frozen and controllable. Exactly. Yeah. And we do that to ourselves. Right. Sure. If we could just get ourselves out of that, stop reading the fucking news. Mm -hmm. So you know, this, first this of all, so if you if you don't have a meditation practice yet, because the the idea of meditation is is scary for a lot of people, you know, sitting with your own brain. Well, the idea is to 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 separate yourself from the thoughts, the chatter. Mm -hmm. I call it the committee of Melanie's in my oh. head <laughs> they all have a comment and opinion and they're all talking at the same time yeah and so for me what i'm able to do is to just some some days it's a few minutes some days it's 20 minutes sometimes i listen to music you know meditation music sometimes i listen to a guided one you know there's sometimes like i spoke about before sometimes i use cannabis as a facilitator ah, for me to a, a to, to go deeper to mm -hmm. go deeper and, and more vast. Yeah. You know, because it allows my mind to slow down and my heart to open mm. yeah. and allow whatever is meant to come through for me to come through. And if you don't know what that means, that's fine. Because a great way to start setting intentions is to, my intention today is to spend one minute in the stillness. Ooh. Set a timer. That's a yeah. good. That's how I started. Wow. Well, I actually minute. tried five minutes and then within 30 seconds, I was like... Yeah, <laughs> I'm like I'm not used to sitting still. But one minute, you can do anything for one minute. Totally, and yeah. you just you know, and just be just be aware of the noises around you. Oh, there's a dog barking. There's a car going by. I can feel my heartbeat. Mm -hmm. You know, I my can, breathing. I can yeah. feel my breathing. I can feel the the rapid movement behind my eyelids, wanting to open. We don't have to judge any of it. We don't have to change any of it. Right. We just get to witness it. 
Yeah. You know, witness th- the way that you feel when the air enters your nostrils and leaves your mouth. Yeah. That sensation. Mm-hmm. You know, notice that there's Powerful. also a heartbeat happening in your hands and your feet. Yeah. You know, there's all these things we become aware of. And what that does is it gives us those life tools to be able to go back into our daily lives of all the stuff that's happening, different personalities, different people. Everybody's got their shit. And we most of the time are half of half of us are bringing it to the table, even though we don't mean to, you know. And so it's like it's, it's a it's a much peace, much more peaceful, graceful way to move about your life. Yeah. You know, to yeah. to to have that time that you're able to become still and present and then be able to take that energy out into the world because we all need more of it. Yes, yep. I exactly. think cannabis can inspire intention physically and, and mentally. Uh, you know, like you can get stoned and your day completely changes. You're like, Jesus Christ, I just smoked some beautiful sativa. You know, I intend to go out and mow the lawn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> there, listen, it listen, does have an effect like it that. It is purely medicine for me. Because there are times where I am so stuck in my head yes, and and just chasing the carrot of oh. the BS, you know, which also means old belief systems. <laughs> Ooh, BS. Yes, old belief systems. In my head. Thank you. And what cannabis allows me to do is to slow that down. Yes. Mm. Slow that down. And then next thing you know, I have the motivation to get up and go do the dishes that I was not wanting to do or go outside and take a walk or it just it it lightens the load for me personally in my experience yes and it i and and this is my favorite phrase but it irons out the wrinkles oh Oh, i like that (laughs) it irons out the wrinkles for me big time and then and then what i realize is what was going on in the mind is now is now gone back into the nothingness from which it came from yeah well, you know? you're not your thoughts. Yeah. It's something I've been working with my daughters on is mm-hmm. that you can have these emotions through the day. They're mm-hmm. teenage girls. Shit's crazy. All but nothing time. stays the same. And so It'll you can embrace pass. that. And yeah. it's okay mm-hmm. to have those feelings. And yeah. you can't deny those feelings. Yeah. But you also can't dwell in them. And yeah. You just mm-hmm. go through it. Yeah. And, you know, setting that intention, we yeah. like to pray in the morning on the way to school. And just, you know, sometimes... The funniest thing will happen, like, we'll pray about not getting in trouble, and then <laughs> I'll get a call at noon from the school, and they're like, yeah, someone's was in trouble. <laughs> but it's still, I think it's so important to teach that way yes. and to try and lead that way and, and build those emotional skills, because we're not getting them from the world. No. We're not getting them from the media. No, right. and we're not getting it from social media, no. God, where no. it's devolving our emotional health <laughs> yeah. instead of improving it. It's yeah. beautiful that they're getting it from you too at this age because yes. I, I often think about how how different my life or uh, this new generation of people younger than me what the world is going to be like with what they have at their fingertips now when it comes to mindfulness and yes. meditation yes, and yoga true. and all these things that didn't come into my awareness in my life until my mid 30s no doubt. you know and so I think it's such a wonderful shift a paradigm shift yeah of thinking and showing how we show up in the world and being more um, kind and compassionate because there's no way that you can have a yoga practice, uh, a meditation practice, or just being a very, very mindful uh, led person and not to have a better experience in your life. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, it's like you're scattering it's a direct sunshine. response. <laughs> you know, so, so now you're, now you have the ripple effect that the way that you show up in the world now affects everyone else around you. It's contagious. Yes. Say yes. that, Queen. I feel that all the way. <laughs> right on. Hey, Mel, now it's time for you to play If This Van's Rockin', Don't Bother Knockin'. Oh, if This what? Van's a Rockin', Don't Bother Knockin'. Yeah, what I've happens inside the van is none of your business, but what happens outside the van is the bumper billboard. Uh-oh. Yeah, so this one's all about bumper stickers. You remember the bumper sticker, right? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh yeah! <laughs> Did your dad have it on the on the van or my, the, the my Winnebago? Da- my mom is horrifically late for everything, and so my dad had a license plate made that said "Always late, but worth the wait." Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Melanie and I have been That's friends for twenty five years. Uh-huh. We actually moved to Seattle from Tampa together in two thousand and three. Crazy. And now we live five minutes from each other in Los Angeles. It's great. Cool. It's yeah, so I know. sweet. It's you so kids. weird how life happens. Her and family great. is my family and vice versa. Yep. Aww. Yep. 
There you go. That's Isn't it wonderful, really, Mary? It is wonderful. Aw, jeez. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's a higher level. It should be. Really. Well, I remember when you be. two kids came to, remember when I had the house with, what's yes, his name? I the big fancy house? house? Yeah. 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 And it, you were so sweet. You're like, let me wipe my lip, lip gloss off this glass. I'm like, oh, you classy. I like oh, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. I always do. All right, here we go. Can you complete the bumper sticker? Number one, stay home if you sick. Come over if you blank. Like dick? <laughs> sorry, Mary. Sorry, it does sorry. rhyme. It rhymes. Mary. About thick? I'm I don't thinking, know that like, one. I don't know that one That's at all. It's kind of a new one, though. Wes got it right. We'll let you have what that was one. It? Sure. Thick. Oh, yeah. I never I never heard that one. Stay home that. if you sick, come over if you thick. Oh, yeah. snap. Yes. All right, number two. Okay. <laughs> it was me. I let the blank out. These are bumper stickers. The dogs? That's correct. Ah. <laughs> 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 that was good. All right. <laughs> and number three. Don't get mad, get glad. Even <laughs> stone. That's incorrect. That's West mine. had it right. Yes. Yeah. Is that what it is? Don't be mad. Get stoned. Melanie, what kind of magazine are we? What kind of podcast are we? You get oh. one more try. Cannabis. It's stoned. Yeah. Uh. Stone. stone. Don't get mad. Maybe it's because I'm stoned now. Oh yeah, boy. It could be. Big ups to dose. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mel, Ooh, where can we good. find you on social media and the internet? Yes, my website is just my first and last name, MelanieMcCulley.com. My Instagram is at Melanie McCulley. My go. TikTok is at underscore Melanie McCulley. <laughs> and okay. yeah, that's that's pretty much is where you're going to find Is there another Melanie McCulley in the world? I, I yes, did. because she has the one without the underscore in front oh, of it. That bitch. bitch. I know. Damn. <laughs> Otherwise, positive vibes. Positive you know. vibes. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Thank you so much for coming back for a second time on the Leaf Thank Life you. podcast. I'm so happy to be here. I love Wes, it. Wes, next week, traditional <laughs> versus recreational. Ooh, the great oh, showdown. Yeah. Ooh. Download this and all Leaf Life episodes at leafmagazines.com. And please subscribe on YouTube at Leaf Life Podcast V2. Now get ready for another episode of Stony Baloney, which is also available at leafmagazines.com. And please be kind to animals. Your hosts for Leaf Life are Mike Ricker and Wes Abney. Leaf Life is produced by Mike Daly. Some of the music heard is provided by purple-planet.com. Every bit of cannabis you use is female, so please... Respect the ladies. Leaf Life is brought to you by Leaf Nation. Featuring Alaska Leaf, Oregon Leaf, Northwest Leaf, Maryland Leaf, Amsterdam Leaf, and California Leaf. On the shelf now in your local retailer. Now, please stay tuned for this week's edition of Stony Baloney by Mike Ricker. Stony Baloney by Mike Ricker. Sorry, Alexa. Amazon screwed the pooch. If your name is Alexa, that is. Because thanks to them, there's now a glitch in the process of assigning identity to a newborn child, forcing us to rethink how we move forward with the official book of baby names. Now for the next couple generations, or five, new mothers will shudder at the annoying thought of confusedly summoning the updated version of Hal from 2001 A Space Odyssey in their living room. I mean, they could have given any name under the spectrum for their artificial bitch, but they chose one that thousands of females already have really fucking things up for any unfortunate woman with that lovely name. It's kind of like having the last name Franklin, but your parents still named you Ben for the fuck of it, effectively forcing you to endure an unending punchline, which is just unjust. Think of the household in a family who has the Amazon Echo and a child named Alexa. Every time that name leaves someone's mouth, their surveillance spy is primed for your next cue to immediately spin the wheel of search engines at your command. So, having a child by the same name is only welcoming more scrutiny into your already privacy-deprived life. 
So sorry, Alexa, you are no longer unique. What was once a flowing word of Greek origination is now a moniker of mediocrity. You've been replaced by automation. Now the impetus for undeserved snickers galore and relegated to being associated with a virtual butler. Here's the good news. You can always change your name in court. And you can reinvent your identity by moving to a new country. And the chances are pretty good that some grower will name a weed strain after you. Like Bubba Kush or Jack Herrer. Except you will simply be Alexa. I can envision the bling of your glowing trichomes. And hey, at least you weren't named Siri. Stony baloney! Some of the wardrobe, including Ricker and Wes's sick lids, is provided by Grassroots California. Check out the dopeness at grassrootscalifornia.com. These products have intoxicating effects and may be habit-forming. Marijuana can impair concentration, coordination, and judgment. Do not operate a vehicle or machinery under the influence of this drug. There may be health risks associated with consumption of these products. For use by adults 21 and older. Keep out of the reach of children.